What's up, YouTube? Tim Rivers here. Now, 2024 looks like it's going to be an interesting year for Sony. I mean, they have about three Spider-Man, like, base films coming out that doesn't have Spider-Man in it. So, yeah, and they also have some other cool stuff. So, here is my Sony 2024 uh, film preview. Now, also, there's films from, like, Sony Classics, Sony Animation. So, here are the last. The first Sony film coming out uh, in the new year is The Book of Clarence, which is from TriStar. Uh, which I hope you find a better place. Clarence is cap um, captivated by the power of the rising Messiah and soon risks everything to carve the path to divine existence. Now, this song also keeps that feel from the same director of uh, of the Heart of the Four. Jay Z is a producer on this, so we got some interesting cast members here. It looks really intriguing. I like the cast list from Lakeith Stanfield, Chetanyana Taylor. Uh, you also got Jay McAvoy, uh, Ben Nakamabaj. This looks like a really interesting uh, flick to check out. So hopefully it can be a good one. All right. Now, the next Sony movie we have coming out uh, is in uh, February, and that is Madam Web. Oh, boy. I don't know. The trailer was, you know, I had a fun time with the trailer, but it was a little cringy. So hopefully, like, this new, like, Mad Web will be a surprise, uh, except it's from the same writers behind Morbius. Uh, they did do Power Rangers, which I'll give them that for. I like Power Rangers. Uh, same writers behind Gods of Egypt, Last Witch Hunt. Uh, what else? Um, they did some other stuff, but... I don't know. This it, it could easily be as like bad as Morbius, but uh, we'll see. Only thing I'm excited, I'm interested in is is to see this because of the cast. You know, I like Dakota Johnson, Sydney Sweeney. I like uh, Cel Cecily O'Connor. I like her in the Ghostbusters and most recent, a good um, person. Uh, so hopefully, uh, we'll see. Maybe this will be a surprise, but uh, all right. Now coming out in March, we got Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire. And, of course, the last two Ghostbusters did very well for Sony. It was a massive uh, hit when it was released. So I cannot wait to see where they're going to take this new one to. Uh, this time around, you got new additions like Pat Oswalt, Kim Nagiani, Emily Allen Lynn. So we got some cool other cast members. So hopefully this one will be as hit as, uh, as the last Ghostbusters was. Now, coming out in... In May, we got horoscope about these um, about these uh, you know youngsters uh, who ends up dying in the um, after reading their horoscope thread. I'm not all that excited for this at all either. I mean, it's from the same writers of Moon Four. Some of the one of the produce they also produce Expendables Four, so that's what you need to know. Uh, I mean. It has a cool premise, but we've seen horror films with good premises before. Truth or Dare, uh, Countdown, but they turn out to not be great. So, I don't know. Maybe this will be a surprise, but I will say. Now, in May, also in May, we got the Garfield movie, which I'm obviously excited for. You know, I I really quite like Chris Pratt, you know, especially after coming off of uh, the Super Mario Brother movie. I think Chris Pratt... Is going to be a really cool Garfield here. Uh, Sam Jackson's in this. Uh, Nicholas Hope. I, I think this could be really interesting to check out. It, the trails look cute. It looks charming. So hopefully it could be a good follow, a, a good Garfield follow. All right. Also out um, in uh, now in June we got Bad Boys Four. Now the last Bad Boys movies, Bad Boy for Life, was a massive hit for Sony. Obviously, one of the highest grossing movies of, of that year because it was like one of the only films to come out that year. Uh, will this do as good? I mean, with the whole Will Smith situation at the Oscars, who knows? Uh, but of course, you got him teaming up with Martin Lawrence, could be cool. So I'm hoping this is a really good one, but we'll see. All right, now in August, I feel like we've been, I've been talking about this for a while. We got the film adaptation of Hair and the Purple Crayon. Now, this is directed by Carlos Sandana, who gave us the Rio movies, and it's based on a children's book. Uh, in that, and not much know about the plot, but the book's premise is about a young boy named Harold who embarks on a magical adventure with uh, the help of his uh, purple crayon. And you got Zachary Levi, uh, 
Who else got in this? You also got Lil Rao Howie, Zoe Deschanel. It actually does sound like it'd be really cool. Um, it is based on a book. Now, the, the release date has been getting delayed a couple of times. It was supposed to come out this year, uh, or last year, I should say, but it got delayed. It was supposed to come out this month, believe it or not, uh, but it also got delayed. So, I don't know. I mean, with everything going on with Zachary Levi, with like some of the comments he's made a couple of times, who knows? And with Shazam, fear that God's not doing well, who knows if he's much of a box office drawer here, but we'll say. All right, now we also got other Spider-Man films, like in uh, August, we got Craven the Hunter coming out. Oh, another one I forgot to mention. Uh, we got a movie titled The Forge coming out, uh, which is actually a fake bait. I forgot to put this in my list here, but it's actually from TriStar. Uh, it's from the same people who gave us movies like War Room, uh, The Forge. I forgot. I totally forgot that this is coming out. Uh, but this is from the same like people. Uh, the Kendrick Brothers gave us stuff like uh, War Room. Um, oh, they gave us some other stuff here and there. I still don't know what it's supposed to be about, uh, but it's supposed to be a, a fake based film. Uh, so fake based movies could be. Could be a hit and miss of time, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I do not mind War Room. Uh, they also did like, uh, dang, let me post up the one. Let's do that. Uh, they also did the Kirk Cameron movie Fireproof. Who remembers that one? Uh, so they they put out some other really cool stuff here and there. Uh, but I don't know. This could be like just another like not so great uh, fake based film. But uh, we'll see. All right. Now, as I was saying, we also do got a couple of Spider-Man films coming out. Uh, we got Craven the Hunter. Oh, and before anyone asks me, uh, or even ask where's Beyond the Spider-Man's list before that movie's not going to come out to 2025. I mean, with everything, like, with the effects uh, being handled and all, I really do not see that coming out this year. Or else it would have been my number one anticipated anime film of the year. So, yeah, but I really don't see that really getting released anytime Um Anytime this year. Uh, but now, of course, we got Craven the Hunter, which I don't know if I'm truly excited for. Uh, I like Aaron Taylor Johnson, but uh, it's been delayed a couple of times, so we'll, we'll see. Oh, we got Venom 3, which might be good, but I'm all a little cautious because the director, uh, who's never directed anything before, and she did roll stuff like Fifty Shades. Um, so that's that. Uh, now, coming in December, we've got The Karate Kid coming out, which, of course, I'm excited for. You know, you got Ralph Macho coming back as uh, Daniel Russo. you got uh, Jackie Chan coming back as uh, Mr. Han from um, 2010's reboot. What this is supposed to be about is beyond me. But, hey, anything set in the Karate Kid universe piques my interest, especially after Cobra Kai. So, hopefully, it can be a good one. Now, if you guys live in the UK, just so you know, you know, Paddington and Peru does come out in um, 2024 for you know, any of my UK audience. It does not come out in the US uh, in 2025, which obviously why I don't have. I would have added Paddington and Peru, but it's not really my. It's not really coming out in the US in, until 2025, which is why it's not even in my anticipated list of 2024. But you know, if it does come out in the UK and you're excited for it, you can put it down if you're inter- like anticipated for next year or not. Now, we also got so many animations. Um, first ever already anime film. Uh, fix about a dog who's about to get near the next day. Uh, this is, of course, from Jenny, John Lee Travosky, who gave us like the Hotel Transylvania movies. Uh, you know, Samurai Jack, uh, Primos. This sounds like it could be a lot of fun. An already anime talking dog movie. We, of course, just had the live-action one with Strays. Hopefully, this one won't be as good, but we'll see. Uh, now, we also got a couple of horror movies from Sony coming out next year besides Horoscope. Oh, uh, we got something called... Uh, uh, called um, they Listen, which I still don't know what it's supposed to be about, uh, but this is supposed to be from um, director Chris Weiss, who gave us stuff like America Pie... And it stars Catherine Watterson and John Cho. So, again, I don't know what it's supposed to be about, but it's actually being produced by uh, Blumhouse. So, there's that. 
All right. Um, another now another horror film uh, coming out. I feel like this has been talked about for quite some time, and it's a movie called The Haunting in Wicker Park. It stars J.B. Campbell Bauer uh, from uh, Stranger Things fame, and the boys star Aaron Morate. Uh This is directed by Gary Gary Fletcher, who's directed movies like Runaway Jerry. Uh, he did Don't Say a Word. He's put out some really cool stuff before. Uh, now it's about Aaron Marsha Becker unwillingly uh, buy a house that's haunt that's haunted by the sister of a family that lived and um, died there before. Desperate for help, the Beckers agree to televised exorcism um, that's watched by millions of people across America. Although the broadcast is a success, the exorcism is not. Instead, it makes things worse. That could be cool, but we've had not. I mean, the exorcism genre with like the recent exorcist we just had, Pope's exorcist. They don't really go with all that plot. So I only I only watch this for the cat, for the uh, two actors involved. But yeah, I don't really have much hopes for this one at all. All right. Oh, uh, now we also do got some stuff coming from uh, Sony Classics. Like we got Daddy O that stars Sean Penn and Dakota Johnson. Uh, where after landing at a JFK airport, a young woman takes a cab back to her apartment in Manhattan. During the ride, she and the cab driver, uh, Clark, have an unexpected conversation about numerous topics, including um, the past and present relationships, uh, pirate dynamics, loss, and vulnerability. That could be cool. I mean, I like Sean Penn, the Cole Johnson, you know, second to Cole Johnson from on my list. So, yeah, it would be interesting to check out. All right. Uh, we also got a film uh, that actually premiered on Sundance last year, and it was supposed to come out like back in October, but got delayed because of the strike. Um, we got a movie called A Little Prayer, uh, which is uh, from director Majab Bey. Uh, and here's what the. Uh, um, oh, wait. All right, we got kind of scrub on something here. Uh, a little prayer plot. All right, now this does saw Jane Levy here, uh, along with David Shafarin. Uh, and when a man begins to suspect that his son is having an affair, he falls into a relationship on uh, minefield, trying to protect his daughter-in-law and understand his son. So that could be cool. Of course, you got Jane Levy, who I always like. So. Uh, th again, this premiere as Sundance like last year, but got bumped out. So hopefully this will finally come out here. Uh, we got another film coming out called uh, We Grow Now, which is uh, this is of course directed by Minabe. Uh, st uh, it stars the likes of uh, of Little Rao Howie, Journey Smollett. Um, we Grow now, we Grow Now is about best friends Malik and Eric who comes of age in Cabrini Greenhouse Complex. Uh, and so this, I don't know, it could be cool. It wants to premiere at one of the film festivals. I think it premiered at either Sundance or maybe Toronto, one of those two. Uh, so I don't know, this could be a cool check out. All right. Uh, we also got a movie. We are, there most likely be other Sony Classics coming out. Like Sundance is coming out. We'll most likely hear like Sony Classics picking up a film there. Uh, but these are the ones that's already coming. Um, now, another Sony classic that got picked up, we got a movie called Wicked Little Lo Wicked Little Letters, which stars Olivia Coleman and Jesse Buckley. Uh, and it's directed by Me Before You director uh, Tia Sherlock. And it's based on, it's actually, um, it is based on a true scandal that stunned the 1920s of uh, England. The story centers um, around neighbors Edith and Swan, um, Edith Swan and Rose uh, Gooding in the seaside town of Littlehampton. One day, a series of um, obscene letters begins to talk to Edith and um, others with suspicion falling um, upon Rose as the outrageous letters continue to escalate. Rose risks every, uh, um, both her freedom and custody of her daughter. Our police officer Gladys Moss um, is determined to find the uh, real culprit, and along with a group of other women, seeks to solve the um, per perplexing mystery. So that could be cool. Of course, you know, this is a little bit of a reunion because uh, 
Coleman and Buckley were awesome in that um, Mac Gyllenhaal movie, uh, The Lost Daughter, which was pretty good. So this could be interesting to check out. Uh, now, last but not least, another Sony film we got coming out to see it. Uh, this year is a movie called Downtown Owl. Uh, it's directed by Emma Linklater and Lily Ray and stars uh, some other cast members like uh, Vanessa Hudgens is in this. And here's what's about. In Owl and the, the lives of isolated residents, including an old man, a desperate high school student, and an English teacher are appended by a White House blizzard in 1983. Now, I believe this was originally set for release last year, but it, I guess it got delayed or something. And of course, um, Emma Schlinkler, uh, Lily Rab, uh, you got Ed Harris, Jack Dylan Grazer, Henry Goding. I don't know, this could be interesting to check out. Uh, this is, of course, set to be released by Sony uh, and it premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival. So, it got, so there's that. So hopefully it could be a good one. But that is pretty much it there. Uh, let me leave you guys. What are some of your anticipated films of 2024 from Sony? Are you excited for any of the, um, are you excited for Matter Web, uh, Book of Clarence, Ghostbusters, Drop Cosplay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This is Timmy Sion.